everybody, it's Matt from remove-malware.com and tonight, as promised, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Avira Antivir Personal Free Antivirus. Um, Avira is one of the free antiviruses that I like to use for my clients when they don't want to pay for an antivirus. So anyway, um, I have the latest version of Avira. I just downloaded it a few minutes ago. This is on a clean machine here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through some of the settings here. We're scanning all files. And I have our heuretics turned on high. Uh, scanning macro virus. Um, on extended threat categories, I have all of them checked. And I'm pretty sure that's all I really need to do, usually. Yeah. Just to let you know, if I go ahead and do an update. <clears throat> it says your program is already up to date. So anyway, we'll go ahead and close that. You can see it's down here. I'll go ahead and load up five uh, malicious URLs. And we'll do this kind of quick. It's going to be an either pass or fail thing. Uh, the whole goal is just to quarantine anything found. Okay, it immediately pops up. Move to quarantine. Move to quarantine. That was a Trojan dropper. Close down my browser and try another one. Okay, immediately found a, another dropper. We'll move that to quarantine. And another dropper. And we'll close that browser down. The browsers usually freeze after I deny them. They crash and freeze. And we'll try our third. So far we're two for two. Hang on a second. Okay, we got two alerts there. Um, this time, your Heretix engine caught it. Move that to quarantine. Same for that one, move that to quarantine. Taken care of. And we got some more here. Move this to quarantine. Move them all to quarantine. Three for three. Let's try another one. All right, Trojan dropper. Move that to quarantine. Move that to quarantine. And this threat just came out today. And we'll move this to quarantine. If I hit run, nothing happens because it's already been deleted. So, so that's it. Five for five for Avira. You know that that's pretty awesome. So, really good free antivirus. And um, I guess that's pretty much it. Not much else to say. I do have one thing, um, one little gripe, and that's that's all right because. Uh, Antivir free does not block adware, but just for the hell of it, uh, I'll show you what happens when you 
accidentally stumble or redirect it upon a rogue uh, a rogue site, a site that tries to install a fake antivirus. Now keep in mind this is a clean box. So we automatically get this pop up, you know. A lot of my clients will be freaked out and they'll click the OK. Yeah, so they think they they think that they're highly infected with 259 uh, system errors. They click next, you know. They open. They're gonna install this this virus remover that's gonna fix their issues. This is a <laughs> this this rogue comes with a really long license agreement. Isn't that funny? And here's the latest Rogue, Virus Remover 2008. I think you're going to start seeing uh, a little bit less of these Rogues, only because the FTC just filed a, a uh, complaint against uh, the major guys making these Rogues and profiting from them. So, anyway. My only gripe with, uh, with the video is I wish it would uh, get rid of Rogues. But I, I realize those guys want to make a few bucks and... If you buy their premium product, it's supposed to stop this stuff. Anyway, um, good job for Vera. It stops. Uh, it stopped five out of five malicious URLs. So, um, anyway, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. I'm gonna be doing uh, reviews just about every night of this week. I got a lot to do, and then uh, right now, what I'm doing is I'm evaluating uh, Drive Sentry. So uh, I'll talk to you later. I get back to that. See you guys later.